Introduce yourself, please, Robert. My name is uh, Robert Benezra. I'm a member in the Cancer Biology and Genetics Program at Memorial Sloan Kettering. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about the work that we've been doing with BCRF support. And uh, what we've done essentially is to identify a set of proteins that are absolutely essential for the migration of blood vessel forming cells from the bone marrow to the site of the tumor. And these proteins we knew early on were important for embryonic blood vessel formation, that is during the development of the feast. But it turns out they're also absolutely essential for the uh, formation of blood vessels within tumors. And uh, one thing that we've learned is that a lot of signals that Judah was referring to converge on the expression of these proteins. So VEGF and lots of other factors converge on the bone marrow and tell the bone marrow to produce these proteins, which then are utilized for the migration and mobilization of these cells to the site of the tumor. So obviously one thing we want to do is to try to inhibit the activity of these proteins to block the formation of blood vessels. Is there a question in the back? Or? No, later. Yeah. Later. La later for questions. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it's a very good target in, we've sh in that we've shown that these proteins are essential. It's difficult in biology to show that things are essential. But to inhibit these proteins was a very difficult task and one that we really needed BCRF support to do because the NIH certainly was not interested in this approach. And the reason why these proteins are difficult to target is that classically the drugs that most drug companies develop are what are called small molecules. They can fit into binding pockets within certain proteins or they're very good at inhibiting things that are on the surface of cells. But the proteins that we work with have very flat surfaces. They interact with one another on flat surfaces that are very, very difficult to target using these small molecules. So instead, what we decided to do was try to inhibit the expression of these proteins. And we did that in a very targeted way. We, we took a molecule that we knew home specifically to tumor blood vessel forming cells and connected it to a molecule that would block the expression, the existence of these proteins. And to our surprise and our great delight, they actually work in preclinical models. We can basically produce the exact same effects we have by genetic disruption of these proteins using these molecules. So we now have something in a test tube which can actually inhibit the activity of these proteins and showing very good preclinical activity. And the hope is that we'll be able to use these agents either alone or in combination with other molecules to inhibit breast cancer growth ultimately in patients. And that's our job right now and going forward.